Listing outcomes and sample space diagrams. These are two different skills that are fairly simple um, in GCSE exams to do with probability. So it says, in the morning, put in the morning, put on a pair of socks and shoes. My sock can either be black or grey or red, and my shoes either black or white. List all the possible combinations. So the two things we've got is we're going to put on a pair of socks and we're going to put on a pair of shoes. Now we're told that my socks can either be black, grey or red. And we're told that my shoes can either be black or white. And we want to write down all the possible ways that I could combine my pairs of socks with my pairs of shoes. Now how I do this and how it will be set out in the exam is you'll have socks and you'll have shoes. So my socks could be black and I could also have a black pair of shoes. My socks could be black but I could have white shoes. So what I do is I go through each on the of the option on the left hand side and match it up with the ones on the right hand side. So I've gone with black socks, black shoes, and then black socks with white shoes. Now, there's no more other things I can put my black socks with because we've only got black and white shoes. So now I'll go, right, let's go down to my next coloured sock, which is grey. So grey, I can have black shoes, or I can have grey with white shoes. Then I can have red with black shoes and I can have red with white shoes. Then you could be asked to solve a simple probability question from your list of outcomes. But that is all it is. When it says list all the possible combinations, it means how many different ways could you have your socks and shoes arranged. Secondly, we could be asked to draw a sample space diagram. I flip two coins, draw a sample space diagram to represent all the possible outcomes. So we've got two coins... But what are the possible things you can get on a coin? You can either get a head or a tail. But that's on one coin. On the second coin, I could either get a head or a tail. So, in this box here, what must I have got from coin one? Well, I've got a head, and from coin two, I'd also got a head. In this box here, I'll have got a tail from coin 1 and a head from coin 2. In this box, I'll have got a head from coin 1 and a tail from coin 2. And finally, in the last box, I'll get a tail from coin 1 and a tail from coin 2. Now, all we've done there in a sample space diagram is just taken our list from above and made it into a little table of our two different things we're looking at, so my coin 1 and coin 2 and list it all the possible outcomes. Sometimes it could be to do with a dice being rolled, two dice being rolled, and the scores being added together. Then you'll have the numbers 1 to 6 on one dice, so 1 to 6 on the first dice. On the second dice, you can also get 1 to 6, and if you're adding the scores together, in each of the boxes, you just write down 1 add 1, 2, 2 add 1, 3, etc. And complete all the 36 different possible outcomes.